<laughs> okay. So I've had a chance to sleep. I haven't had a chance to change, but mm, it is in fact time for a death battle. I'm actually kind of surprised at that, you know, considering how uh am I getting synergy all that? Considering how we got five combatants this time and they only covered two of them. Now Mega Man is a series I I know very little about. I've never actually played one. I've never played a Metroid game. Uh, so, I mean, I might as well just jump right into it. Um, I do caution you, I have had very little sleep, as you are aware. Hey, we've got access to all sorts of personalized data, and 23andMe can help you learn about yourself with the most trustworthy source around, your own uh. DNA. With more than 125 Can you trust your own DNA though? Can give you insight about your health, physical trip. Like you could never quite get enough. Can you trust your own DNA? Imagining things. It could be your genes. Buy your own <laughs> health and ancestry service kit today at 23andme.com. I was hoping Wiz would say something else I could use the other hand. Oh well. Mega Man may be an icon by himself, but others have carried on his legacy, creating yeah. real immortality. Immortality? Not on this show. Time <laughs> to find out which Mega Man is the most mega of the men. While there are many versions of the character to choose from, are they all boys? Not that one. This battle will feature the five most prominent: the classic era Mega Man. Actually, I was in a Captain N bridge as Mega Man. I'm not kidding. It was hilarious. I was also Princess Lana, and I was also Mother Brain, but uh, she was went through a filter and kind of sounded like GLaDOS, so, yeah. NX. Volnut from the Legend series. Battle Network's Mega Man.exe. And the Alien Star Force Mega Man. He's weird. Like he's literally an alien? And it's our job to analyze their weapons. Our it's just called Alien Star Force. Yay! In the year 20XX, the brilliant Dr. Light would change history forever, developing machines with AI so advanced it mimicked they actual to us what AI this means. goal was a world where robots and humankind could live together in trust and harmony. Mm -hmm. I want all you watching to remember that, because right off the bat, Light's partner Dr. Wiley reprogrammed the bots and tried to take over the world, just the first in a lifetime of dick moves. To combat this threat, Light Oh, I'm sure he probably had a rock lifetime of dick moves behind classic Mega Man. Classic, huh? What's next? Diet Mega Man? Cherry Vanilla Mega Man? Species robot. Zero? To one of those, technically yes, but that's much later. Thomas Mega Light. Man is armored with ultra strong serotania and comes equipped with the Mega Buster, a literal hand cannon for each arm. While it's normal lemon energy bloops aren't too deadly, he can charge them up to tear through robot master ass like nothing. <laughs> ah, I meant to do that. There was a fly. And I got him. Mega Man's most uh -huh. notable tool is his variable weapon system, which allows him to copy the data of fallen enemies to gain their weapons as his own. Nice. So now he can cut you down with the metal blade, light you up with the napalm bomb, and burn you alive with atomic fire, which is twice as hot as the surface of the sun. He's nice. basically got a tool for every occasion. Sure, he can shield himself <laughs> with the skull barrier, reflect projectiles skull with the mirror buster, bypass armor with the centaur flash, Stop time with the time stopper. Uh, okay, hang on. It said black comma hole bomb. And create localized singularities with the black hole bomb. A plus. In case this little blue buddy needs a boost, he can activate his double gear system, which is basically robo roids. They jack hang up on. his power. <sighs> You're gonna have to do this more traditionally up in this corner. Uh, low health, Mega Man can even use both speed and power gears at the same time, though this leads him in a weakened state afterwards. How weakened? His speed or both at the same time. And with his robotic <laughs> canine companion, Rush, Mega Man can access his super adapter form, which grants him flight, a boost, and power. Okay. Um, well, the super Mega Man form cannot utilize most special weapons in game. 
Okay, if you use these multiple weapons at once. <sighs> in the manga, I'm playing the farmer's only really a gameplay mechanic designed with balance in mind. This also applies to his time stopper weapon. That's interesting that they're counting for gameplay mechanic versus a more realistic approach. And rocket propelled punches. Mega Man is strong enough to lift a 60,000 ton tower. He's tough oh, enough to survive the yeah. gravity of Jupiter, the heat of the sun, and absolute zero. Plus, he's fast enough to keep up with Quick Man, who can dodge lightning and can get close to the sun. And is also of apparently a Mega Team Man Rocket has member. over 100 robot masters and other robotic foes, including Sunstar, who was powerful enough to self destruct and destroy the Wily Star. Okay. Basically, a small Death Star. With How its small? size in mind, this would need energy equivalent to over 7 trillion megatons of TNT. Exiton Blast. Now that's a number I've never even heard. And I've heard a lot of numbers. Let's try something a little less traditional there. Quint. So is it like the, the fifth of something? Unlimited ammo, though. Mega Man would carry the banner mm. of peace across the world, fighting Wily's tyranny and spreading Dr. Light's dream of human robot coexistence. And everyone lived happily ever after. Until they didn't. Yeah. Ever since I was little, oh, for God's sake, come on. Video will play after ad. No, no. That's no. revolutionary. Ad. Bad computer. This feeling of home is why I'm launching bad ad. No. Go bad screw attack. Bad death battle. No. Do not do this. He's the greatest creation of my career. And I will call him Mega Man. Mega Man. I like it. Oh good, for a second I thought you would only say your own. Flash man. forward 100 years when the archaeologist Dr. Kane happened upon a sleeping blue android hidden deep within a ruined laboratory. Unlike the previous Dead. model, this android possessed free will indistinguishable from a human's. This wasn't Mega Man. This was Mega Man X. So like a relative? Built by the late Dr. Light to be better than the original Mega Man model in I think he is a rep boy. Aware of the danger that such a powerful android could be, Light locked him away in a capsule that ran tests on his morality for 30 years. And what better way to match decades of good boy training than waking up to <laughs> worldwide war? Yeah. Dr. Kane began mass replication of X, but his process was imperfect. Many of well, these yeah. reptoid robots went maverick and embroiled the world in centuries-long warfare. Despite being a pacifist, X felt obliged to step in and help. His go-to is his X Buster, which can fire up bamboo pandemonium. Or charge up several Please tell me that's from someone named Pandemonium. He also carries his partner Zero Z Saber, a beam sword that can reflect projectiles and cut through nearly everything. But he wouldn't be a true Mega Man without the ability to scan and copy other robots' weaponry. He has copied countless elements. He can use the Hadouken and Shoryuken. Like wind, water, and ice, as well as bombs, missiles, mines, drones, lasers, and force fields. He can shoot out black holes, Sounds good. turn invincible for a short time, and create a hmm. clone of himself. For like a second. I really wish I could do. He can stop time and even resist similar effects when other robots try their own time stoppers. But when he gets serious, he breaks out his ultimate okay. armor. And resist. Is that does that mean he's immune or that he can just resist it, you know, like for a time? And is that time long enough to fully resist? Doubles his durability, gives him unlimited ammo, allows him to fly oh, and attack okay. the Nova Strike move, and teaches him some super powered moves like the Is Sigma always posing dramatically? Yeah, turns out Dr. Light was a fan of Street Fighter. But possibly his greatest ability is what the <laughs> X in his name refers to the X factor that is his limitless evolutionary potential. Which is your typical anime bullshit. Exactly! Uh, or friendship or puppies or whatever, X has completely regenerated from near death and even reformed his whole body in only a few seconds so from just his metal core. With all his immense power, X has defeated dozens of Mavericks, including the General. The General uh, was tanking planet-destroying laser, the energy of which would require 57 quadrillion megatons of TNT. Okay. He move fast enough to dodge Optic Sunflower's light speed lasers, he have a and survive channeling enough energy through his body to annihilate all of Japan. 
Okay. After years of fighting, he managed to destroy his arch enemy, the Sigma Virus, with his most powerful weapon yet, the Mother Elf, aka the latest thing to join our Hall of Fame of terrible, terrible names for awesome stuff. <laughs> the Mother Elf is like a living antivirus software that can heal X's wounds, increase his power, and completely rewrite a rep. It's code, the giving him complete wars. control over cybernetic beings. That's how he defeated the Sigma virus by erasing it from every. Hang on. So, um. Please tell me the elf wars were fought over the music of Danny Elfman. Just, just putting that out there. Invisible to humans. If she's a part of Zero. Reploid in the world all at once. And the day was finally saved. Uh -huh. The mother elf was corrupted and the biggest war ever broke out all over again. But for the ultimate peacekeeper, X sure spent a lot of time kicking ass. Awesome. As long as there's hope, we can change the future. Yay! Thousands of years later, the world was consumed by a great flood. Humanity was all but extinct. The world got so shitty, the man in the sky himself had to step in and flush that thing. All that remained on the planet was a race of artificial life forms known as Carbons. But some of so, humanity survived in the orbital oh. space station, the Elysium. This station housed the Master System, a computer program designed to control the Carbons population on Earth. I think that's but the over time, Sims. all the humans on board died. Except for one, the Master, and his assistant, a Carbon known as Mega Man Trigger. Wait. Since the that, carbons were basically the only that was a man. life forms left in this super sad world, this last human figured they deserved free reign of the planet. So he told Trigger to destroy the Master System. Though I'm pretty sure Nintendo already oh. did that. <laughs> Despite being a purifier unit designed to protect the Master System, Trigger obeyed. But thanks to this chick Sarah, he got his robo butt whoop. The Elysium System unless the Master System's greatest guardian. To a robot monkey. Robot monkey. Lost all his memories and got turned into a baby. Sealed away for years, he was eventually discovered by carbon diggers who named him Volnut. And thus okay, began why? his journey to stop the master system, battle pirates, and trigger his lost memories. See what I did there? Wiz, gotta talk about something you said there. Why did they name him Volnut? What a dumb name! The only thing dumber than that name was that stupid pun that you made. Well, to <laughs> save the day, Volnut has surprise, well, surprise, that's where Tron Mega Buster, and he can switch out his right arm for a bunch of special weapons like a machine gun, a spread gun, homing missiles, grenades, mines, a sword, a reflector shield, and his most powerful weapon of all, the Shining Laser. It's a Shining laser. laser. It shines, like a lot. It, it, it's good. He wears armor, which lets him hover for extra speed, and also That's shields hovering? that can make him briefly invulnerable and invincible. That's it. That's no longer stopping than time or farting black holes out of his butt. I guess it's not that bad. Well, most of these weapons pull from the same energy source rather than separate pools, oh. and they each need to be swapped out manually. Yeah, uh, starting to think we found Diet Mega Man. Don't underestimate him. Volnut is a charming hero with a lot of power. He charming, can... huh? This is this Mach 33 years. Rush Mamu. Isn't no, that's Manmu or something like that. Uh, um, Mamu swine. <laughs> Uh, thirty-year-long island-wide storm. Um, how does that translate to fighting powers, though? Mech explorer. Yeah. Uh, none of those really hold up to that. Nine point five ton stone blocks move fast mm -hmm. enough to evade meteors, which re-enter Earth's atmosphere at Mach thirty-three, and even tank them head-on. That's a kinetic okay. energy equivalent to thirty-eight tons of TNT. He's defeated scores of giant mechs and even Sarah in a rematch for the ages. All in a day's work for Mega Man Volnut. <laughs> Don't worry, Yuna. Why? Yuna. I know Roar. She'll come looking for us, no matter what happens. Roar gets to be the hero? 
That's cool. Naughty. Timeline, but luckily, there is another. Awesome! Let's go all the way back to the year 20XX. Imagine, instead of is revolutionizing science with robotics, Thomas Light focused on computer sciences and created okay. a world dominated by the internet and That's not 20XX, AI. that's... Oh, and his name was also Tadashi Hikari. Oh, great, the AI Hikari. timeline. Hey, Siri, hey, Hikari. please don't kill everyone and take over the world. I didn't catch that boomstick. Oh god, it's already happening! Ahem. The internet infrastructure Hikari worked on was so complex, it became its own separate universe known as the Cyber World. Nice. This unpredictable digital universe was managed by sentient computer programs called NetNavies. Reminds me of those uh, digital Pokemon. Or like <laughs> Oligan. Hikari had a grandson named Lan. Yes, that's really his name. And Lan had one of the best net navvies around. Hub Hikari. Megaman.exe. Together, they became the most Land successful and busting duo in both the real and Afraid cyber of worlds, and saved both countless times. EXC can shoot foes down with his regular or charge shots with his, yes, you guessed it, Mega Buster. Yay! He can fly with his Mega Booster and cook the shit out of a Thanksgiving Day turkey with his Mega Baster. Okay, maybe he doesn't have that left one. His true strength, however, was he really lies putting in the enormous in? collection of battle chips. Which contain a variety of different weapons and tools for EXE. Kind of outside health. He has over 1,500 of these. Simultaneously. Another girl by now. He's got cannons, shotguns, spread guns, mini bombs, big bombs, another time black bombs, hole. Shot waves, earthquakes, meteor swords, kunai, boomerangs, and an incredibly deadly yo yo. That doesn't even scratch the surface. He can create black holes, move objects, Varia places, sword? turn intangible and invisible, dispel force fields, resist having his data assimilated, uninstall customized programs and weapons data in enemies, Again, and use Giga Freeze. Does resistance mean immunity or just the ability to, um, you know, hold out? Put programs and even the whole internet in stasis. That why my internet went down last night? I might have to break out boomstick.exe and kick his ass. How do I ult him for this little bastard? I drop a train on him! Past EXE's defenses, his dark aura is a barrier so tough it could survive the end of the entire cyber world. Okay. And since EXE is a digital program, not an organic being, he survived being impaled, losing limbs, and even being blown to bits before pulling himself back together. Wait a minute, if he's just a program like you said, can he even fight in the real world like other super fighting robots? He's done so before. He can enter the real world through special dimensional areas, or through sheer power output alone. He can even merge body and mind with land using full synchronization, oh. a technique only possible if both beings have a strong mental bond. Fusion ha! Well, turns out EXE and Lan are super close because, plot twist, EXE is Lan's stillborn dead baby brother turned into a computer program. What? Wow. Yeah, well, when they bond perfectly, they enter Hub Form, a state powerful enough to defeat Nebula Grey and the Dark Galaxy Universe with just a wave of his hand. Okay. EXE is tough enough to survive a planet sized Psy Beast exploding. That's a blast for an over 14 septillion megatons of TNT. He's quick enough to search practically the entire cyber world in less than a minute, and powerful okay. enough to absorb and recreate the same cyber world in a single move. And after all of that, hmm. Land retired from virus busting to become a scientist, whose That's research would play a part in the next Just generation leave the dog of out. Mega Man. Pretty impressive for a guy who spends all his time jacking off. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Wizzy. We had to work that in. I understand. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's gonna be his log off. So that kind of sounded like a more action based, well, not at more action based, but more um, battle centric um, 
cross between Digimon and Metabots. <laughs> 200 years later, the world had yet again progressed, this time with the advent In and proliferation of electromagnetic, or EM, wave technology, which is a fancy way of saying they switched their main resource from internet cyberspace to basic radio waves. Well, at least radio okay. waves will never try to take over the world and commit genocide. Uh -huh. You say that now. This is Geo Stellar, the son of astronaut Kelvin Stellar. Oh, okay, first land, now Kelvin. These names are killing me. But anyway, Kelvin got lost in space after being attacked and captured by a race of aliens made of electromagnetic waves known as FMians. Like FM radio aliens. FMians. Ugh. Luckily for Kelvin, he Capcom, a why? alien kitty thing named Omega Zis who tried to help him escape by zapping him into radio waves. It wasn't the best idea ever. But eventually Omega and Geo met up and merged together to become Afraid Star of Force. Force Mega Man. And with this transformation, Geo acquired an Planet AM of Omega's Northern EM power. Namely, as a being composed of EM waves, he's effectively invisible and intangible. We passed right through. Huh? We're EM waves, remember? Though the latter usually requires conscious thought to activate. He can also fly, teleport, survive in space, turn living beings into EM waves, and manipulate data itself to control other machines from the inside out. Remember when Mega Man oh. used to just be a cute robot? Now he's a radio alien cat fusion thing. Well, at least he still has the Mega Buster, which does exactly what it did the last four times. Moving yep. on. Actually, this Mega Buster is a bit different. It's sentient. Not only does it charge automatically when not in use, it can oh. be modified with different wizard equips, no relation, to change its power, speed, and no. status <laughs> effects. Uh, it actually took me better if it had boomstick equips. Well, I'm sure there's something boomstick Sticky related in rain. Geo's nearly 600 battle cards, which provides Star Force Mega Man with numerous special weapons. He's getting yeah. swords, hammers, axes, So that could just happen bomb, without missiles, his lasers, meteors, shockwave, a great ton his of elemental it? attacks, and when all else fails, he can just use his bare hand. Nice. He can paralyze foes, drain their health, summon black holes, turn invisible, wow. heal wounds, create Destroy force fields, summon other EM beings for special attacks, and control noise. Control noise? So like, when my neighbor plays music really loud, he can just turn it off with his mind? No, but... I thought you lived in a trailer in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, man. Animals are getting smarter. <laughs> right. <laughs> noise is excess energy created by EM beams. Hey, man, I have kind of like static. I know when all about that properly, it can cause machinery kind of malfunctions similar to an EM that kind of ball. drive EM beings insane, and, if he absorbs enough of it, allow Geo and Omega to change into even more powerful forms. His greatest form is Red Joker, which can fire okay. the Red Gaia Eraser. A huge laser that'll reduce your body to EM particles and shoot them across the atmosphere. While you're that sounds good. Talk about one hell of a way to go. With all these powers and more, Geo and Omega have the resume to Super match. Massive they Black Hole, I remember that enemies, album. Including Sirius. Ha, we got her! Ahem, who was powerful enough to move a black hole hundreds of millions of miles in a we single day. The black hole in question was Sagittarius A, which has a mass four million times greater than the sun. Factoring in its mass and the speed it traveled, we can get a kinetic energy of 4.6 decillion megatons of TNT, enough to obliterate a solar system. Then Star Force survived inside of that black hole like it was nothing. And since yeah. he's made of radio yeah, waves, he's here. as fast as light. Though some other EM beings were able to fly from the center of the Milky Way galaxy to Earth in only three days. That's over three million times the speed of light. Star Force even fought EXE once. Okay. He technically lost, but he was just holding back to make sure he didn't Marty McFly the future away. But of okay. all of his accomplishments, his greatest feat was one that no other Mega Man up until that point had achieved. This oh. world, and this timeline, actually turned out pretty great. Yay! All thanks to Star Force Mega Man. Today, this was never your city. It's mine. Bring home the most amazing Spider-Man Stop. Movie. I do want to see that, but oh, hey, skip bad, skip bad, yay! Dang it. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, mm. I need a mega meal from Blue Apron. No, you don't. By now, you've probably heard of Blue Apron, the leading meal kit delivery service in and battle. Yay! Okay, so 
the last one seems the most durable um, as far as like surviving an explosion that can tank the uh, not an explosion but surviving a force that can tank the solar system uh, oh. um, the fact that they didn't get into like well, I mean, they couldn't, otherwise we'd be here all day, get into what all the cards can do for the card-based ones. Um, let me take this off. I put it on when he said, Hikari! <laughs> so, um, those two are the biggest wild cards. I don't know, there's just so much massive information dumps here. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Okay, I think there's too much data for me to keep track of right now. And like I said, I've never actually played any of these games, so... Ah! So there's just no reason to fight. Here we go! That's aside from the classic one, I can't actually remember which one is which. Okay, one of them is by himself right now. Oh. Or not. Oh no, that was the same one. See, that I knew that was going to be a problem going into this. I can only remember which one, what the classic one looks like, because I, again, don't have a familiarity with these guys. This is just going to be a really hard battle for me to keep track of. And he can reform, right? Like most of them can. Did I know the original can? <laughs> Invincibility shield? Okay. No! Ah! Don't cross the screams! Okay, black hole. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, which is the one that can survive in there? This is the last one, but I don't remember his name! Oh, that's the core. I thought that was another sticky bomb, but that's the core they can reform from. <laughs> Better eyes were going to open. Does not compute. Maybe it computes perfectly. Woo! I have no idea what's going on. Surprisingly, this battle's victor was fairly clear-cut. 
While the original three Mega Men had many impressive feats, they were all outclassed by EXE and Star Force's cosmic level feats. And poor Volna couldn't keep up with any of them. Even Classic had a leg up with his huge variety of weapons, but his limited ammunition meant he would never last too long. Plus, mm -hmm. X was designed to surpass him in every way. X's mother elf may have rewritten the code of the Reploids in his time, but both EXE and Star Force were much more powerful data beings who have resisted similar rewriting before. Friends. In particular, <laughs> Star Force's noise manipulation gave him a huge advantage over the mother elf, which All we know right. to be fairly vulnerable to corruption. But I know what you're thinking. Fairly Star vulnerable Force is just that years one ahead of EXE. Sort of Should his tech be way better? He even held back in their cannon fight. That's clarify a cannon in the story, not they were both using their cannons. True, but so they still did work. EXE. Neither were fighting at their full potential, as made evident by their other feats. At hmm. best, Star Force may move 3 million times the speed of light, but EXE was fast enough to search the whole cyber world universe in a brief period of time. Oh, like he physically to... searched it. I thought it was just like scan, 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 scan. Okay. Destroy it in its entirety. And the cyber world isn't just a hard drive with some gigabytes. It's a universe with stars and galaxies and the whole shebang. To collect nice. EXE's speed, we first need to find Zenny? the volume of EXE's field of view compared to the volume that, the of the observable universe. Not just Dragon Ball. With that, we can determine the number of passes EXE made across its diameter in order to search everywhere. While the manga doesn't give an exact time frame, the situation EXE is in is dire. His ally, Base.exe, is on death's door. So Mega Man's okay. solution is to zoom around the universe as fast as possible until he happens upon some tool or weapon that can help. That doesn't sound like it should work. But it does, and he couldn't have been gone for more than a minute, her base would have been done for. So with awesome. that in mind, EXE must have been traveling over three Novem Decillion times the speed Novem of light. Decillion! That's, That's another number I've never heard long. before. Wiz, I'm pretty sure we just set a new record for highest number ever on this show. I'm likely to take saddle damage when those power dampening factors like noise in play. Ah. Yo, I think so. And it also goes without saying that while Star Force's solar system level black hole feat was impressive, EXE destroying an entire universe is far superior. About 200 quintillion times okay, more. Okay, nice. Don't forget that EXE's arsenal of battle chips is much okay. larger than Geo's collection of battle what cards. Also, universe? EXE could have just used chips like uninstall, interrupt, and capture to disable all the other Mega Man's weapons and programs whenever he wanted. Well, except for Volnut, ironically, because huh. his weapons were manual rather than programmed. I Got see. One, buddy. All the Mega Men are good at what they do, but at the end of the day, EXE had the speed, power, and the tools needed to be the best super fighting robot. Okay. This battle totally rocked. Man. The winner is Mega Man.exe. All right. I can deduct this, right? Oh, not again. So I can chat with Blah, 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 blah. No, stop it. I don't want to see ads. I want to see next next time. Let me just say next week. Okay, Mega Man hey, the XC one. All right. The battle music for yourself. You can get it by clicking the link below, or you can check out exclusive commentary on this episode or another video by clicking right over there. Okay, let's see next time. Next time. Okay, another Spider Man. Oh. Black Widow versus Widowmaker. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'm actually glad I was wrong about it being another Spider-Man, because we've had some of that. Uh, so like I said, um, I really could not keep up. They all look so similar to me, and... Huh. Fortunately, I was considerably more alert here than I was... Um, during uh, Gundam vs. Optimus Prime because I I think I've told you before, I think that is my absolute worst reaction. I considered deleting it, except that Athena was uh, being a little jerk during it, so I kept it up more of an educational this is what it's like to have a parrot video than a death battle reaction. Because I was, I was sick, um, tech speak was going over my head, I'm a smart person. I was captain of my quiz bowl team. I qualified for college Jeopardy, all kind of stuff. But tech speak just leaves me wah. Which is why I have no ability to edit these videos. 
sorry, sorry, sorry. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I, I guess. I'm just gonna go yes. I've never played any of these games, and I don't know! Hmm. They didn't really get into the diversity of the cards at, at, after a certain point, did they? They were like, oh, there's so many cards. <sighs> and so many upgrades. I have a doctor's appointment later, and I have a work meeting. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna be exhausted. Uh, and I'm still working on borrowed internet, so... This is gonna be rough. Okay. She has limited internet, too, so I am going to have to very much... Um, thank her for all of this and reward her generously for her use... Uh, uh, for her letting me use her internet. Mm. Anyway. I'm actually getting used to it. It looks stylish. <laughs> uh, anyway, like I said, this battle was not for me. I think next week, um, you know, I only know Black Widow from what I see in the movies, and I've never played Overwatch. Um, but it's just one-on-one. -on -one. It should be so much easier. I know Widowmaker is a sniper. Um, is she the one who used to be a ballerina? I think she is. Um, so yeah. You know, I still haven't given up hope for Kafka versus Sephiroth. They've had, you know, this is Mega Man's second battle, right? This is also his second loss. <laughs> Base form Mega Man, because he lost Astro Boy. Um... God, the Mega Man franchise does not do well, do they? Um, although I forget who won with, um, I don't even remember the name of that battle. Was that X? I don't even remember who it was against. I think that was a very forgettable battle, and if you don't know which one I mean, I don't either! <laughs> uh, actually, um, let me look. <laughs> Which one do I mean? Which one is it that I mean? Because I... Metal Sonic versus Zero. That's what it was. Okay. Alright, yeah. I, I was just bored to tears by that one. Also bored to tears by Venom vs. Bane. Uh, I don't know, Shredder vs. Silver Samurai doesn't stand out to me. Hulk vs. Doomsday, I remember being really underwhelming. Meta vs. Carolina. I don't know, I just kind of... I misunderstood what they meant by uh, AI. So, yeah. Alright, well... I will see you all in three weeks. Well, I mean, obviously I will see you again before that. Oh, and, uh, I'm going to The meat is still, uh, messy because, um, I can't get her face clean after she takes her medicine. <laughs> it's... Uh, uh, poor little sick baby. Poor little sick baby. Okay, well, I will see you guys later.